in the bank. Kiss me once and I'll float away. But that ain't me anymore. But I don't mind if I sell my soul. To get a song on my radio. Credit cards on my student loan. That's a millennial. That right there is just a pure example of what not to do in our school hallways. Let's take a look at what we should have done in that situation. Dude! No! Just want to... It was a very kind act of you today. Thank you. And I think you learned a good lesson. Yeah, I do. That's how it should work in the hallways. Let's just pick up trash. Don't walk past it. Pick it up. One. So tell me that time, sir. How do you feel about campus being so darn dirty? Well, it's a shame. I've been going to school here. This is my fourth year. I'm a senior, and it's it's been cleaner before. I don't like it being this dirty, and I think we should all do our part in keeping it nice. If you see some trash, pick it up. And don't throw your trash on the ground. Keep it nice out here. You heard it from a senior. Clean it up, folks. Quiet. <laughs> so how do you feel about campus being just so darn dirty? Bad people out there doing bad stuff, littering. In fact, I just littered this morning. You know what I did? I realized that I was wrong, so I picked it up. You know who saw me? One of the police officers. You know what they did? They rewarded me with a good high five. You too can get a high five by picking up trash. Yeah. Good morning, Venice High School, and welcome to the Monday, April 30th episode of VTV News. I'm Mr. Grant. Here are your morning announcements. Have you signed up for an activity yet? Go to www.vhsconnects.com to sign up for today's activities. Do it right now to ensure that you will get into your preferred activity. Venice High made some history on Thursday afternoon with the IB signing. Don't know what it is. Our friends at SNN were here to cover the event. Well, Suncoast students are excelling in the classroom and they're getting some recognition. Venice High School says they're the first school in Sarasota County to have a college signing for academia. 30 seniors representing the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program penned their signatures like right there. The program is for high honor students with an advanced academic curriculum. Some of the students are committing to MIT and Duke University, others seniors Hunter Hurley and Juliet Daddario both chose the University of Florida. I plan on going into criminology, hopefully to uh, advise for pre-law uh, and eventually, you know, become a lawyer, possibly corporate or, you know, uh, work for nonprofits or immigration, something like that. I was actually considering the University of Connecticut for um, a vet program there, but ended up with the University of Florida, which I'm going to be really happy at. I've heard so many good things. I have friends in their vet program, and so I'm excited to go through that. Some really bright students, Venice High School says the signing will begin a new tradition and will happen for years to come. Any junior taking the executive internship for the 2018-2019 school year must sign up for the internship meeting with Ms. Nellis during VHS Connects today. The meeting will be held in the cafeteria and will include important information and requirements for next year. See Ms. Nellis in room 4102 if you have any questions or issues signing up.
Seniors, please go to the VHS Connects page and sign up to the, for the Earn and Learn program. In partnership with several infrastructure construction companies, we will be offering paid craft training and employment in Polk, Hillsboro, Pinellas, Sarasota, Manatee, Pasco, and Hernando counties. In this training program, students will be employed by one of the partner companies and will attend craft training two days and work on the job for three days each week. Students will be paid for both class and work time, and during this training, students can earn up to nine nationally recognized certifications while building a future with leading industry companies. Sign up under Mrs. Ritter's name on VHSConnects.com. The Renaissance team and 417 nominated students would like to thank the teachers, staff, and administrators who supported our endeavor to honor those students who personally demonstrated a positive strength of character this school year. The students that you nominated exhibit the ideals important to being successful in and out of the classroom. You have recognized students who epitomize scholarly attention to grades and attendance, respect and kindness towards others in their academic community, and a self-awareness of honesty, trustworthiness, and empathy. Thank you again for nominating 417 students this year. Here are a few of this past week's winners for the giveaway days. Congratulations to the Freshman Orchestra. The Freshman Orchestra competed in Tampa this past Tuesday at the State Orchestra Music Performance Assessments, earning three straight excellent ratings. Good job, Freshman. We are proud of you. Congratulations to the following students who recently announced their college intentions through Rotary Futures. And now here's Mrs. D'Onofrio with a video on the Little Free Library. Hey kids, I want to tell you about a new project that 
the Literacy Council undertook this year in conjunction with Interact and the Art Club also. So we made this little free library. It's fantastic. It has a guest book. You can sign in if you would like to. But little free libraries are all over the entire world. There's a website called littlefreelibrary.org. You can check it out. There's some in Venice. There's one on Salerno Street. And the concept is you can just take a book and never return it if you don't want to. Or you can put a book in if you would like to. Or you can take a book and return it. You can do anything you want to. It's to promote reading. There's some great books in here. This one, look at how phenomenal this looks. Venice Indians. It's going to be, we think in the cafeteria, but a great place where you can come, take a book, return it or not, read, little free library, official site right here. Got some awesome books, Fault in Our Stars, John Green, fantastic. American Sniper, very interesting. The Help, do you know the lady that wrote this book got rejected 60 times, six zero, 60. Impressive, for staying power. Boston book, Boston Strong, Stronger, great book about the marathon, interesting. Love this book, Where the Heart Is, about a girl who has a baby in a Walmart. Very interesting. Tons and tons of interesting books. Come and check it out. Take one home for summer reading. Kaylee is our Literacy Council Vice President. Join Literacy Council next year. Looking for some great members. Journey, instrumental in getting our books in here from Interact. Thank you, Interact. Thank you, Art People. Phenomenal job. Attention all track and field athletes. Please stop by Coach Potter's room sometime today to receive information on the end of the year banquet. And that'll do it for today's episode of VTV News. Remember, you can watch the news anytime on our YouTube page at www.youtube.com slash VTV News VHS. I'm Mr. Grant. Have a great day, Venice High.